The idea is that we uh, test for diseases that a person uh, may develop and then intervene before uh, significant consequences occur from that susceptibility. So currently we are testing for a selected number of uh, very severe diseases that affect children, um, so, so it's already in place, um, but it's only for a very selective set of diseases. Already we are using genomic um, information. What, what, one, uh, what we do is we sequence the tumors from people that have aggressive cancers and in up to, um, to about 20 percent of those individuals, there are uh, changes, mutations in the tumor that identify specific therapies that can um, improve uh, the treatment. Um, the hope is that we could improve the number of um, uh, mutations that we can identify that and improve the treatment for, for everyone, not just for those selected individuals. Um, also, what we would really like to be able to do is to identify um, individuals before they have very aggressive cancers. Um, and so that would include um, identifying cancers before they present or um, in some cases identifying people that are very high risk so that we could screen them more aggressively. Um, similarly, for diabetes, you might identify um, specific changes in individuals that predispose them to getting diabetes and then um, inter intervene um, with a, a therapy that addresses their needs. Currently, genetic screening can identify some rare diseases, um, especially some rare uh, childhood diseases can be screened for. Um, there are some uh, relatively more common uh, diseases like Crohn's disease um, for which we can identify uh, variations that uh, have a, a relatively high accuracy for predicting uh, risk for developing those diseases. And also if you have a strong family history uh, or early onset of cancer, uh, we can screen and identify the genetic cause for that. Um, but at the moment, uh, common diseases are not well predicted by uh, genomic information. Uh, so we would like to be able to do that more effectively. Uh, we would uh, like to know what to do if we find a mutation. So we, we're not you know, inclined to just test people unless we can do something about the, the observation. The cost depends on uh, the test that's conducted. Uh, so if you do a, a limited number of genes, such as those that affect um, metastatic cancers, uh, the cost can be as low as uh, $300. Um, if you wanted to perform a whole genome sequence, which is 3 billion base pairs, uh, the cost uh, of the reagents is $1,000, um, and then on top of that there would be the interpretation. Um, typically, uh, companies that do sequencing um, of a large number of genes for cancer therapy uh, charge, with all the annotation, charge about $7,000. So the costs are highly variable. Um, and uh, depend on, on what you're seeking to understand. Um, what doc, what, what uh, President Obama was talking about in his speech, um, I, I think, was more directed at research studies um, to get those in place, integrating data across multiple centers and uh, performing initially in the research environment. And um, for that, the costs um, are up about a um, thousand to two thousand dollars per person. Um, it's actually quite complicated uh, to do the kinds of studies he's uh, discussing because we need to bring together data from um, multiple uh, individuals across multiple institutions, and uh, so that requires sort of a, a very um, dedicated environment where people um, can bring together these large sources of information.
Well, they are screened, actually. Uh, so children are screened for uh, these high-risk genetic diseases. Um, other than that, unless you have a, a strong family history of, a, um, of increased risk for getting a disease um, like Crohn's disease or early onset uh, colon cancer, um, screening wouldn't be indicated um, because uh, um, the risks are low enough for most people that um, you know it, it wouldn't uh, be very informative. Um, so uh, that kind of uh, direction should be taken um, following, um, you know, consultation with a healthcare provider, um, and that may inc include uh, seeing a geneticist. So um, at, at this time, um, it's not it's not indicated for the general population to to be screened for um, mutations. Um, that they carry. Now, if you develop uh, a disease like uh, s some uh, type of metastatic cancer, then uh, it would be very relevant for y you to have your cancer uh, screened for mutations because those mutations may inform the best therapy for you. Well, it's exciting that, you know, this um, direction of research and um, further, you know, development um, was brought up by uh, President Obama. I think he's been a strong advocate of personalized medicine. And uh, we have had, uh, you know, major successes in this area, um, new treatments for uh, some previously highly fatal cancers have been developed. Um, but it, at the moment, um, that's sort of the minority of people that benefit. Um, what we'd like to do is move this into an arena where we can uh, treat very effectively um, individuals with diseases like cancer um, and with less burden to them rather than the heavy burden from chemotherapy at the moment.